Hey everyone, in this video we're going to walk through the steps of connecting an Azure DevOps organization to Azure Active Directory. If you've been wanting to switch your Azure DevOps organization to Azure AD, but you're unsure of the steps involved, this video will show you just how easy it is to connect Azure DevOps and Azure Active Directory. Let's get started. So first we need to sign in to Azure DevOps. And then we need to add the Azure Active Directory user that you'll be using throughout the process on connecting to Azure AD. In this example, we're also going to set this user up as the organization owner when we're done. So we come into organization settings, go into users. I'm going to go over here and add a new user. And I'm going to add Jeff at moonspace.net. This is an Azure AD account. It's actually an Office 365 account. So you can see I've added Jeff now. So now we're going to give Jeff Project Administrator permissions. Add him to the Project Collection Administrators group. And now Jeff is a member of the Project Collection Administrators group. This will ensure that when we sign, as an, sign in as this account, all the appropriate permissions will be there. So now we're going to sign out from the Microsoft account and sign back in using the Azure AD account. So now we're signed in as Jeff. Go back to our settings. Now we're going to click on the Azure Active Directory setting and notice here we are not currently connected to a directory. So we're going to go ahead and connect or at least start the process. So when you click Connect Directory, you have to select which, well, Azure directory you want to connect to. So I'm connecting to the one called Moonspace Labs. Go ahead and continue. And once this gets connected, it'll automatically map any of the accounts it finds in the Azure DevOps organization with to like accounts in the Azure AD um, configuration based on email address. You notice there in the message that one account was not mapped, and we'll see that here in a moment. It forces you to sign out and back in, so we'll go ahead and sign back in um, as Jeff once again. And we can now see which account isn't mapped. It's this devmatter1 at outlook.com. For example, if we try to search for it, notice no directory or no identities found. That's because they don't exist in our Azure AD uh, set of users. So we're going to click over to the Azure portal, go into Active Directory, and we're going to add that user as a guest account. So currently that user does not exist, so we're going to say New Guest User, enter all the information. Okay, now we'll invite that user in, and now that user is a guest user inside of our Azure Active Directory tenant. Now we'll go back and notice that that user got automatically mapped uh, since it's now an account within our Azure AD. Notice the frequently asked questions link there. We'll come back to that in a moment. But first, so if we want to see all organizations that's connected to this directory, we can click on download and that'll download a CSV file. We'll open that up in Excel. Get moved over here. And we'll see that we have two organizations now connected to our Azure AD. And notice that we still have a Microsoft account as the owner of the current Azure DevOps organization we're in. So we're going to go switch the owner of this Azure DevOps organization to be backed by an Azure AD account. So we're just going to click on Change Owner, switch it to Jeff. And there we go. Now we've completely switched this over, connected to Azure Active Directory. We've changed the owner of the organization to also be back by Azure Active Directory. And this is the frequently asked questions link I pointed out a moment ago. This is full of all kinds of information that's worth checking out because there's quite a few variables that go into switching your account over to Azure Active Directory. Obviously, we've kind of followed the happy path here. Uh, depending on your specific setup 
um, and situation, you might run into various scenarios that aren't covered in this video. So you'll definitely want to familiarize yourself with this frequently asked question. So in summary, there are five basic steps in connecting your Azure DevOps organization to Azure Active Directory. You can see those five steps here. Also be sure to refer to the FAQ for further details on scenarios that we didn't cover in this video today. So I hope this video has been helpful. As you can see, it's not that difficult to migrate your Azure DevOps organization over to Active Directory. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notifications bell for uh, alerts for any future videos. And thanks.